uh, games I recently bought. I haven't done one of these in a while, guys. So once in a while, I'll do. I'll talk about recent pickups or games that I recently picked up. And uh, for the most part, some of these games I have not played as yet, right? Destiny 2, for example. Uh, the Crew. Um, like, I know uh, the Crew takes up, like, lots of space. But, yeah. Um, but, yeah. Uh, once in a while, like, I'll do this. The last recently bought videos I did was back in November early uh, December so a uh, month to almost two months ago and uh, yeah once in a while like I'll do this this is really it's always fun to talk about uh, new uh, newly played games right but yeah like share uh, subscribe um, okay here we go I'm gonna go from uh, right to left here Far Cry Primal which I got recently this is like it's very similar to Far Cry 3 if you guys like Far Cry 3 you will like this one it's prehistoric so there's no guns there's, you know, no English spoken like in the game. There's only subtitles for English. They speak a prehistoric language. And I'm really, uh, like, I'm not the biggest on uh, Far Cry. Uh, like, I'm not the biggest fan of Far Cry. But this one, I appreciate the open world, what it does. The crafting system. The various types of, you know, mission, you know, a side quest you do. And the wildlife. This one, the wildlife is really impressive. And how the animals react. Just really impressive, right? Right beside is wrestling wwe 2k22 which i just got today literally just got played an hour of it um with this i haven't played a wrestling game in so many years the last wrestling game i bought was eight years ago um but this one though plays it's uh you know and it's all about learning the our uh, controls our uh, reversals the fighting the punching like the our uh, controls feel very different uh than it was eight years ago obviously but uh, the one 2K14 was really good. That one was really in the roster. Was so big. The customization. So many different, you know, uh, you know, uh, challenge modes. This one as well seems like, seems like it is uh, taken up uh, after that. But it's been eight years. I hope to. I hope I'm going to uh, like this one. WWE 2K22. Yeah. Right above it is uh, The Blob 2. The Blob 2. Which I don't know what this is really. It's like platformer puzzle so you're literally doing puzzles as you're going through the game um so basically what happens is like you're like this i don't know goo pile of goo and you're going around you're solving you know you gotta basically spread colors uh, in the world uh, like you know and the world is basically dull and then you have to basically add color like to the world add life to the world it's a very unique type of idea i saw and this is a rare game by the way i don't see this game this is very rare Right beside this Scarlet Nexus, which very similar to Near Automata, if you guys like that anime type RPG, this is more heavily, it's more dialogue heavy, um, I, you know, uh, which I don't really like, but the dialogue, actually the voice acting is actually uh, pretty well done. If you guys like anime, I highly recommend checking this out. It's also for the PS5 as well. I believe it's an early PS5 title. Right below it is Destiny 2, which I didn't play, so I can't comment on. But from what I heard, I'm pretty sure it is one of those games where it's very popular, like in the media, very popular. Certain games get more attention than others. I'm not sure why, but Destiny 2, multiplayer game. I, you know, uh, like I had a friend recommend this to me a year ago. I had uh, somebody telling me, okay, uh, this is uh, like a very uh, good game, but Destiny 2, Activision Bungie. And then Assassin's Creed 4, Black Flag and Origins. Assassin's Creed is one of those game franchises where it's a long franchise. It's like lots of games. 10, 11 games. But um, I'm not sure what to think of this. Assassin's Creed 4 I had years ago. And, but then I don't know what happened to it. So I, I rebought it. Assassin's Creed 4, Black Flag. I remember it had that, you know, naval type of... I went on naval. They had that, you know, ship warfare. You're in the Caribbean in the uh, 18th century. And yeah, just really good. Just actually really good overall, like the fighting. A little bit repetitive, very repetitive in the mission design. Assassin's Creed Origins, I'm not sure what to expect. I heard good things about it. This was when they had the Odyssey. So you had Odyssey come out one year and then you had this come out another year. It's like back-to-back -back years. But Origins, I hope it's good. It's, I got this in a buy one, get one free deal, right? So yeah, with... Uh, Persona 5, which I'm going to show soon. Ratchet and Clank, Up Your Arsenal. Oh my god, this game is so good. This game is really good, guys. I tell you, uh, for $10 and 
I don't know what it is. Ratchet and Clank games, they are rare. They're really rare. These are not common, guys. Um, you know, especially PS2, PS3 era. Eras like of Ratchet and Clank games, PSP as well. But yeah, I, I, I'm not sure if this is the second Ratchet and Clank game, but I love the weaponry. It's very special. Like The weaponry is what makes Ratchet so special to me. The different weapons you get, the arsenal. And uh, like it's in the title, you know, but yeah, this, the level design, the challenge modes, the sub arcade mode where you, where you literally play a platform mode as Captain Quark. It's really good. It's really well done. But yeah. Burnout Paradise, which I didn't play much of, but it's basically an open world type racing game. And I'm skeptical of this because I don't like having to drive to a marker just to activate uh, an event need for speed opera suit did it the perfect type of way where it's not open world it literally you can literally choose any i uh, you know uh event at any time instead of having to drive to an event but burnout paradise you know uh, from the little i played of it actually yeah it's an open world type of game you can play as a cyclist or like an actual uh, driving a vehicle but yeah burnout paradise and it plays similar to the older burnouts twisted metal arcade type racer our controls are a little bit weird in this one. I don't know what it is. Uh, you also have a Persona 5, which I heard some people put this in a top 5 PS4 games of all time. List, in, well, you know, it's all uh, subjective, but this was, uh, like, I, you know, I bought this because it was a uh, buy one, get one free type deal, and I heard lots of good about it. And it's one of those where you have to like anime in order to like it. Um, a bit slow, and it's dialogue heavy, very dialogue heavy, which I don't really like, but yeah, Persona 5. Um, like, hope the rest of it uh, is good. The crew, which I did not play as yet, I don't know. But based on uh, the background, uh, there's a map of America, and uh, you could just tell this is going to be like an open world type racer. And uh, I didn't know Ubisoft made racing games. I did not know. Uh, but uh, this is obviously 10 years ago. Seven, eight years ago. But the crew and... This is probably near the end of the, the PS3 360 generation. So yeah, racing game and uh, yeah, uh, the crew. And right below it, this is the last one. The Stranglehold, which Stranglehold I played some of. Oh my God, it, yeah, this game is actually really good. It, it's surprising me. It gets straight to the point. It's fun, not too hard, not too easy. Um, this is uh, Nicholas Hall. A uh, shout out to Nicholas Hall, right? He told me he's a subscriber. He told me that, you know, uh, this one was uh, inspired by Max Payne. And if you guys like Max Payne, this is basically just like Max Payne. Stranglehold, uh, you know, third person type shooter. Uh, bullet time, different abilities, uh, the bullet dodge ability. But yeah, this is really good. Stranglehold is really good so far. If you like Max Payne, this is basically that. Uh, you know, uh, what I feel is basically that in a Sleeping Dogs type setting. So if you guys know Sleeping Dogs in our game. But this is basically like that. Like, share, subscribe, guys. Part 21, recent pickups. And let me know, leave any recommended games down below. Uh, thanks for watching.